Hey, it's your boy Mr. XP here, back with another bit here on the channel. We're back again, continuing FM8. And as I said in the last part, I was going ahead and trying to figure out what's going on with uh with the recorder because it's like lagging and glitching. So I had to close the program and I restarted it. If anything, I go ahead and probably stop the recording and edit another part separate and then connect it to this in case if there's any issue. Um, I'm just looking at the recorder right now as I'm talking. So that's just one of the things that I've only been recording for like 50 seconds. So let's just sit here for a second and just see what's happening. Just letting the music also play too. I'm only listening to the music, so I gotta change my garage around over there. One minute and 22 seconds, and no glitching so far. Alright. So I guess everything's somewhat good for now. If anything happens, like I said, I'll stop the recording and I'll edit this part separate. Let's go ahead and do the bay real quick. Because the bay is where it's at. <laughs> I'm just playing. The bay is where we got all our toys set in the garage. I'm gonna put the Porsche in this section where the Mercedes Benz is. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the Toyota Supra in the other section of the bay. There you go. You okay, guys will see what's going on. Hey, okay, what? Oh. Hopefully it would change. Let's go ahead and look around the garage. There you go. Now the car's back there changed. <laughs> we might as well change that other car in the back too. Uh let's just change it real quick. The Audi. We could put the new 2014. I'm mean, in 2017 Ford GT3 in the bay. Put this in the fourth spot. I don't think there's a way. Jump to tab, sort. Eat it. No, you have to actually click on the car and then go set it in the bay. So, let's see. Transformers mode. Yeah, there you go. Ford GT's back there. So you guys will see the journey of the channel or the gameplay walkthrough. <laughs> so yeah, in the last part also as well, you saw at the end, I figured out that there's a timer here on this section of the featured category. Don't know why there's a two day timer and I got to look that up. So, because remember I'm doing these recording sessions back to back. So I got to figure out what that is. So we're going to go ahead and do these two races and then do the other two and then that should be it three parts of FM8 here for the channel. We'll probably record a fourth one if I can. Um, so I'm gonna record this one and I'm gonna take a little break just to stand up and walk around. So I'm not just sitting down doing straight long recording sesh for you guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and go back to Germany with the Mercedes Benz on a ASAP story. <laughs> and if it's unbound. Oh god, that sun. And why does the music sound like this the from the Detroit Become Human? The on Hockenheim Ring Short Circuit is going for passes through the technically challenging turns because passing on the narrow straights can get difficult. I swear the music right here is from the Detroit Become Human. And they just remixed it, I feel like. And we're back. Um, one thing I did was I stopped the recording because the game glitched and somehow it I got stuck on the loading screen. I had to close the game and restart it. So um, that cut 
on the other part was perfect so it was a good thing that that cut was okay because i was able to use that for this part here um to continue part 11 here on the channel i went ahead and also did the thumbnail for part 11 so you guys won't see it what it looks like until after i edit the vid and upload it on the channel so let's go ahead and continue like i said and um go ahead and work with what i have like i said the the game just like crashed for some reason and i couldn't do anything and i had to restart it so i ended up doing that so now i gotta see how long this part's gonna be so i can edit it together with the other part maybe i can squeeze in a third race but i doubt it. it's gonna be too long so good this time i'm not crashed on the loading screen Maybe part 12 thumbnail would be cool with the Mercedes Benz. So hopefully that you guys will see what I'm gonna do or what I have planned with the Mercedes Benz 190E. Really? And then I get, I hit this other Mercedes. We got six laps on this track. This is the alternate track to the pop. I'm not even gonna try to say the name of German. <laughs> even though Germany or German is like the third most kind of cool language to me, but it's just not something I'm, I'm into. I listen to German rappers. I mean, aka Ozzy Controller, or not, and uh, what's her face? I forgot Baby Girl's name. She's a rapper too. She raps in German, or not, and but no, the other person I listen to is Arena or Alina. I mean, she's she's Russian though. She's Ukrainian. So the other person I listen to is Russian, but I know I forgot the other person's name that's in German. That I listen to, but she's kind of cool too. Um, but what do you call it? There's another German rapper I listen to, but I forgot his name. He raps on a, I think, or he's from LA actually. On a, or he like lives in LA. He moved overseas here from Germany. So it's like this crazy. Uh, Good German guy. Oh, and I forgot his name. But he's crazy. He does like crazy stuff with his music. Like stuff you wouldn't even see. Like, just to tell you about it. I mean, like, his stuff that he has in his vids are like things you wouldn't expect a regular person to know about. Trust me. Just to put it at that and to keep you at, at bay from looking him up and keeping you at safe distance arm's length from him. Just to let you know. <laughs> the reason why I know him because I came across him uh, when I was looking at something on the other day, on the two back in the day. I was looking at something and I came across like this Warsaw Hip Hop uh, uh, channel. I already know about Warsaw Hip Hop, but it was something else that I knew from Warsaw Hip Hop. I was looking at some other rapper and I came across his bit in the recommendation section of the tube. Like it was something interesting that caught my eye and I clicked on it and I did not know what I clicked on. I was not expecting to see what I saw. And trust me, but he, he's actually dope though, kind of rapping in German. One of his bars actually flow and kind of catchy. Going on. Because if you pay attention to some of the K pop or, or Korean rappers I listen to there's a flow to it and the reason why not just me learning how to speak Korean or Chinese in a way um, some of the bars in Korean actually make sense if you pay attention to the key syllables or like verbs or nouns a certain way let me kind of give you a little rap breakdown on how I also do my raps um, if you pay attention to some of the, the words at the end of each bar they sound similar because they trying to rhyme in a way and if you get the, the flow of the rap that they're trying to rap in korean you will get the understanding like what the concept of the name of the song is like for example the name of the song is like 10 years the song by big naughty he's a korean rapper i listen to 
if you understand the song 10 years, it's a heartfelt song. And by the tempo of listening to the song, you will clearly understand he's talking about something heartfelt. When you then look up the key factors of certain words that he's rapping about in the song, it's basically he's talking about sorry mom, sorry dad, sorry to my old girlfriend that I, I love so much, or I'm sorry to my best friend that I, I left alone. I went and chased the lifestyle that I wanted for myself. And now 10 years later, I'm living that lifestyle. You know what I mean? Like 10 years later, now I'm living that lifestyle because he's, to go. he's able to, you know, live it. So that's the kind of the key concept of the song, 10 years or not. Um, we should follow uh, the other Korean rapper that I listened to. And I just realized the quarter cut out when I was talking about that for a second. I hope that got picked up because I don't know what's going on with the studio mic. I have to probably unplug that too because that glitched in a way a second ago. So, and if you notice on the bottom right, we got the gas down to the last tick of the gas tank and it's showing orange for some reason. I don't know why, but I mean, it's like literally, that's the first time I've ever seen the gas tank that low. I don't know if I can go to the pits and is it gonna affect the race? I got 12 laps left worth the gas. But I wonder if I go to the pits, is it gonna cause me to restart the race? If not, we're gonna experiment that. We're gonna experiment with it in the quick race series. Because if I don't want to go to the pit and it causes my car to stop for a minute and get, you know, more gas and everything and then the race is past me and I'm like, crap, now I'm, I'm losing the race because now I got to catch back up before the last lap and then I have to redo the race if I don't win and I want to sit here and edit a bit extra for you guys and waste more time than I have to. I'm not paying attention. I'm going to be talking and looking down at the recorder. Chin, it just I gotta let my finger off the gas. I can break though. Just cruising through the apex. Just cruising through. There you go. Now I got enough gas for 11 laps now. So, yeah. So that's all I'm saying about certain like songs or stuff like that. But for ASAP Rocky, for his song, I mean, not a song, <laughs> for his car, like, for NFS Unbound, it's crazy. Because, like, I wouldn't expect NFS to go around that way. And I still want to know the concept of how they even thought of having ASAP as the main person for the game for NFS Unbound. Like, who sparked that concept idea? I wonder who did it at EA. Last lap. So, savings, 190E. Oh, fuck. How do we go in the pits? I don't want to risk... I wonder if the pits is part of the finish line. It is, but I don't know if it's too close or too far. I'm just going to cross the finish line with what gas I have. At least I have enough for that much laps. And it's only six laps for the race. I bet you it's gonna be harder and harder on like the higher races. We're gonna get more races that are longer and have more laps, but the gas I'm gonna have to hit. Because yet though you see me so far play the whole gameplay walkthrough on the channel without going to the pits. So maybe they trying to get you to get used to that now. Seeing the icon right down with the gas low. And then not having enough gas for a few laps. And then go ahead and then when you start getting higher and higher in the race, the race will become more harder. And you have to tweak your settings for like the driver tars in the game. And your gas, you have to go to the, the thing. The pits for more gas. So... 
We finished P1. Okay. It just messed up again. The recorder did not catch any of that at the end. Because the recorder just glitched again. I think I have to update OBS, but I don't know. There's no new update or anything, so I don't know what's the problem. gonna be a long long day six laps okay so hopefully I can breeze through this part real quick too also as well I'm gonna have to do double editing for this part part 11 Alright, I got nothing else to say, so I'm just gonna be quiet. The wind direction at Catalonia can change drastically during the day. It's possible to experience aerodynamic drag and understeer in the morning, then be pushed into oversteer in the afternoon. And we're back. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and breeze through this race. I'm gonna show you also something too, real quick. I'm gonna put myself in fourth place because I don't have much time and it's 3 47 and I have something else I gotta do before something important happens later on so because I gotta go somewhere but I got I want to do one thing before I go so I want to hurry up and finish up this recording so we're gonna start in fourth place though um the track here in Catalina in Spain the track here the apex I was talking about earlier that wasn't on the regular version of the track. I think they changed it where they made it where now it's part of the smaller version of the track. I'm gonna show you. It's on the other side by the finish line on where we go around. I'll show you where it is. Save and so I can itch my ear. My head 
headphones, my hair is tickling, that's why.
did it. Now coming up to the home stretch. That's the last two major apexes and then we should be on the last apex that leads to the finish line. And then that should be it. This is one. So we're gonna count the apexes because it's 357. That's one. Two. That apex. And then this one makes it three. Home stretch. We're done. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, end the gameplay walk part here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna kind of end it a bit differently for you guys. So hopefully that is not too bad. Is that too bad for you guys? But uh, yeah. Nicely done. Let's go ahead and just skip this. I'm gonna let this go. So you guys see this real quick, but just skip all that real quick. And uh, yeah, 20 minutes and 12 seconds. And it's 357 on January 29th, 2024. I'm just marking it just because. <laughs> but if I say the full date like that in gameplay walkthrough parts, and if I say it the full date like that, that means it's something special that meant something. So, yeah. I'm just gonna collect all this because I don't have time. And we're gonna go into the Grand Oak track next in part uh, 13. Wait part 10 and part 11 i said that wrong <laughs> we're gonna see that track in part 12 because i just recorded part 10 and part 11 so yeah we're gonna go ahead and do that when we come back and uh yeah it's your boy mr xp i see you guys in the next part